Hello, I'm your reporter for today. This is Sports Today on BBC News. Coming up on this program. First, Barcelona beats the holders Chelsea in the Champions League. And later, <coughs> a supporter attacked the visiting goalkeeper. The full-time winner Barcelona has won the Champions League Cup against their rival Chelsea with 2-1. Chelsea was already a goal down when they got a penalty in the first few minutes of the game. Let's have a look at it. Oh yeah, what a great shot, perfectly in the right hand corner. The goalkeeper had no chance whatsoever. We're going to switch now to our reporter at the stadium. Steven, what have you got for us today? Thank you very much Oli. Today I'm standing with the one and only penalty striker. And the question is of course, what was going through his mind when he was taking that penalty? On the other side of the field we have Nick standing with the visiting goalkeeper to chat about the horrible accident that happened to the goalkeeper earlier today. Back to you Oli. Thank you Oli. It's terrible that such things can happen. As I told earlier in this program, I'm going to bring you the penalty striker. Just after the match, I had a conversation with him about the game and especially about his great penalty. Let's see what he would like to share with us. Hello Messi, how are you feeling? Well Steven, I'm feeling pretty great now. I mean, I have just beaten such a great team in the finals of the Champions League. And it was such a competitive and fast going match. Yes indeed, was it a hard match for you? Uh, yes, of course it was very hard. I think it was a tough game. We Chelsea. Liked it very well, but uh, we held our ground the whole match, and that is what made us beat them in the end. Also, this pitch is very different to what we are used to. Uh, but football is like that, you just have to deal with it. So there's nothing you can do about it. In my opinion, Chelsea played fantastic, but we played more like a team. And the most important thing is, of course, that we won. This was not the first time you beat Chelsea with such success. When you received the ball, we were all thinking, what's he going to do? Will he score? No, uh, I think when I passed the first two players, I had much space ahead of me. So uh, I straight away passed the last defender without thinking. And then I ran towards the goal and I scored, which made me so happy, because it was a very important goal for the team. I'm uh, very proud and happy that uh, we not only made it this far, but uh, we became the champions. Uh, when, when you scored, you had a real team celebration. You had a stride over to Shavy and the others. Yes, uh, everyone said to get in there, and uh, we don't just do it for everyone. It was for our coach, of course, because he said from the beginning of the game uh, that I was going to change the game, and he was right about it. Obviously, your main goal was to win the game, but do you feel Chelsea was a little bit unlucky when you look back on the match? Obviously, I think Chelsea um, created two or three very dangerous chances and they were uh, very good. But um, football is like that, when you uh, don't score your opponent will. And I think the result is fair and I'm very, very pleased with our performance. What is the most important thing for you during the next season? Um, the most important thing is when the next season starts, that the ambition of the club is like going to win the title. And I think you now we got a good start. The confidence is very high, and you need to carry on like that because confidence is very important. Okay. All right, but let's get back to the game. In the first few minutes of the game, you were pushing Chelsea back in their own penalty zone, and after a few minutes, you had gotten a penalty kick. Now, what was on your mind at that moment? Well, after the penalty, I felt great relief, but I was very nervous when I had to take it. I was selected by my coach in the changing room. He said that I am the best kicker in the team, so I had to take the first penalty. I didn't uh, expect to get the penalties so early in the game, or even to get a penalty, so I was, uh, wasn't very prepared for it. But uh, when I walked towards the penalty spot and put down the ball, I got my confidence back and kicked it perfectly in the right hand corner. That Thank you Stephen. We're switching back because we have a <coughs> fresh new message coming in. In a match earlier this day, somebody has broken his leg because of a terrible tackle. Let's take a look at it. Edward Messi, we wish you all the best for the new season and congratulations with the cup. So that was Messi with his story. <laughs> this was Stephen live from Stanford Bridge. Back to you, Oli. Thanks, Olivier. I'm standing here next to Kuhn, the fisting goalkeeper. Kuhn, what happened? I really don't know. I can't remember anymore. All I heard is that a supporter attacked me and I uh, and that I fell down against the post of the goal. You really can't remember? No, all I remember is that I was taken into an ambulance. ambulance. And how <laughs> do you feel you right now? Now I feel quite uh, good actually. I have got uh, a painkiller from my doctor, although I feel a little dizzy. But I saw uh, the accident and now I know I should be glad I didn't have any 
they had injuries. Right. Yeah, you should be. Now let's talk about the match. What do you think about it? I don't think we played at our best. We won the game and that's uh, what, what counts. We have earned uh, three points and we are satisfied. Okay, yeah that's true. But uh, you saw in the beginning of the match that you played it well, but a little later you started playing worse and worse. How do you think that was? I think it was because there were problems in the second half with the supporters of the opponents. Uh, the players uh, weren't playing their own match anymore. Let's look back at the incident. Why do you think the supporters are attacking you and not someone else? I guess uh, it just stood closest to the supporters and that uh, therefore they chose me. Okay, thank you for talking to me just after this incident. I hope you will recover soon from this incident. Okay, thank you. Bye. Hello everybody, I'm sitting here tonight with Nick, Steven and JJ and I'm talking about them with uh, what, yeah, and I'm talking about what happened today. Nick, do you think Barcelona was the deserving winner? Yes, uh, Barcelona was more offensive, and uh, Chelsea was um, not playing their own game. Yes. So that's why Barca. Yes. Yeah. All right. And Stephen, do you think Barcelona was the deserving winner? No, I think uh, Chelsea was really better. Better than uh, Barcelona because uh, the game was a tie until the keeper of Chelsea got knocked down by a random fan that uh, knocked him out of the field. Uh, I think the guy that knocked out the keeper was hired by uh, FC Barcelona and um, yeah, he got paid for it. And that the terrible accident, what Steven said. JJ, what do you think about it? Well, I think it's terrible that such things happen. I mean, why would somebody want to do that in such a fair and nice game? I mean, they were, the game was su such nice and everybody was enjoying it. But why would somebody do something like that? I just, I just don't think... And do you think the same as Stephen that they, that well, they Barcelona I think it was a, the match was uh, very even, but still I, f I think Barca did deserve to win, even though the, of the casualty. Alright, well, that was about it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you later. <laughs> that was Nick on the field talking to the goalkeeper of Chelsea. Well, that was the Champions League finals with Barcelona and Chelsea. It was a great match with such great players and which eventually led Barca to victory. We hope you enjoyed the show and see you next time on Sports Today on the BBC. Sports Today! Hello, uh, I'm Piet Pausma and I'm your weatherman for today. Uh, this is uh, Netherlands. Um, um, if you see, it's going to rain here, uh, here, 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 and here. Uh, also here. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's going to rain all over the country. Um, for the week, Monday, it's going to uh, snow uh, everywhere in uh, Holland. Um, Tuesday, um, the sun is going to shine. That is very nice for the people who uh, want to uh, to uh, to sail. Then uh, Wednesday it's going to rain. Uh, Thursday it's going to rain, and Friday uh, the weather is fine. Uh, the weekend is also fine. You can uh, go out with your friends, or you can make a, a movie for English. Um, I'm the Pausma and I'm saying uh, goodbye from Het Gooi. Oop moon! Oop moon! <laughs>